Alright, it's your boy Sage. And right now, um, I had a friend of mine who wanted to um, learn how to record like songs in GarageBand. Um, and that's the program that comes with Apple Mac computers. And GarageBand is a very powerful program. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up GarageBand and show you how you can do separate tracks and upload beats and record, spit over beats, sing over beats, whatever. And um, let me see what I'm going to do. I'll just like grab a beat from somewhere real quick. First, what you want to do is you want to open up a new project. So I'm going to open up a new project. I'm going to name it example. And while that's loading up, I'm going to look for a beat. Let me see. This is a beat I just wrote too. I'm not going to spit the actual verse I wrote. And you just drag and drop it in there. It'll import the file. Excuse me. Garage. It'll import the file and it'll convert it to AIF. So GarageBand can read it. That's going to come up automatically. And then we can... We can play it. Delete that because we don't need that. That track. Okay, so now you have your beat. And what you need for a rap song, you need a beat, you need lyrics, and you need to record the vocals. So I'm not going to actually spit the verse I did. I'm just going to do something random. I'm not a freestyle rapper. But you see what I just did there? I clicked the plus sign right there to add a track. I click real instrument. That's something that's going into your mic that's on on your MacBook. And since I already created a, I already created one, it says no effects right now. So what you want to go over, you want to go over to the real instrument and it has the effects right here. And since you're doing vocals, I'm going to click on vocals and it has all of these settings for vocals you can do. So right now we're going to go to male, where is it, male basic, which is what I basically do. And then now it's set on male basic. Then you click edit. You want to turn on the noise gate. Maybe play with it a little bit until you get the sound you want. You can turn on monitoring right here. But we're not going to do that right now because I'm going to get like a shitload of feedback if I keep it on. And then you want to turn off the bass reduction usually to get the best quality. Turn the compressor to vocal compression wrap. And then there are a whole bunch of effects you can choose. You can choose track echo, track reverb, tremolo, vocal transformer, which like ch plays with the pitch of your voice. Chorus, distortion, a flanger, all, all types of effects. You can also turn up the master echo and the master reverb. And these are the defaults. I usually like to turn the reverb all the way down and turn the echo to about 15 to 16. And here's the cool part with GarageBand you can also use Auto Tune. Just click on the little scissors right here and the enhanced tuning bar drag it up all the way to 100 click limit the key and then you're gonna start singing the tune that you want to sing and change the key right here until it starts to sound right you can also change it major to minor so it can be C major or C minor D flat major or D flat minor and so on so you want to change those keys until you get your correct tone so I'm just going to record a quick verse, click the record button while you have your vocal track selected, and then you hit, you're going to want to use headphones, uh, which I didn't prepare for, so use my headphones right here. The reason you want to use headphones while you record is so you can hear the beat in your ear, but the computer doesn't hear the beat. 
so you don't get the beat in your acapella. So you're going to hit record. On stage. And I'm recording. On this beat. something so you can hear it and then I'm gonna play that back for y'all well y'all already y'all did hear that because I'm recording computer audio but yeah y'all heard that so I can keep the earphones in really I'm gonna play that back I'm sage and I'm recording on this beat I got feet, I will defeat, any rapper, uh, turn the beat down, I'm sage, and I'm recording, on this beat, I got feet, I will defeat, any rapper. Uh. That right there, that's a little track um, produced by Skywalker called Carlton Danks. And uh, look out for that once I drop that song. It's part of a little contest that's being held. So I just dropped a few verses on it. But yeah, so basically... Um, Actually, I'm going to undelete what I did right there. Basically, once you have all this done, you can add multiple tracks. So you can have yourself rapping, over rapping. So you know how sometimes when rappers, they flow and then they'll be rapping. And it sounds like they come in behind themselves. So is they're actually, they're recording on a different track. So... I can have me saying I'm sage and then almost immediately after I say that I can say and I'm fresh or something like that. I'm sage and I'm fresh, but you find it like impossibly hard to flow that line because they they did it on a different track. And also the benefits of using different tracks is you can have one track have auto tune and the other track not or one track have echo and another track not and so on and so forth. But anyway, once you're done with all your tracks and you have your final song mixed down and you're like, this is what I want it to sound like, then you're going to click share, export song to disk, you're going to hit compress, compress using mp3, high quality, or high quality, good quality, whatever, you click export, and then you save it as example. You can save it to the GarageBand folder or desktop or wherever. And it's going to create your mix down of all your tracks. Normalize it, which means it's going to make the volume normal so you don't like destroy people's eardrums. And it converts it to MP3. Once that's done, you look on the desktop and there's example. Playing in iTunes. I'm Sage. And I'm recording. On this beat. I got feet. I will defeat. So there you go. That's a quick tutorial. I'm going to delete that MP3 because, God, if anybody hears that. <laughs> But um, that's a quick tutorial on how to record in GarageBand. And I'm Sage. I take requests. And please subscribe. If you're reviewing this on YouTube, because I'll probably put this on Vimeo as well. But um, yeah.